Hi everyone, welcome to another Crypto Setups DeFi tutorial that's powered by Icon Plus. As you know, my name is Fez. So today I'm going to quickly walk through from start to finish how you use the balance protocol. I am using this on testnet, so there may be issues, I don't know, but let's see what happens. But I see a lot of people asking, oh, is anyone going to create tutorials, etc. While I've done stuff on prototype and a bit on the decks, I wanted to just do one walk through completely. Uh, I will try not to ramble on too much, so let's get started. As you approached, when you load up the site, a standard process when you use all these protocols, um, just an FYI, this is testnet. These are my showcase wallets, wallets and the ICX you're seeing in there is fake. I wish I had that kind of ICX, but um, yes. So here we go. As soon as you connect the wallet, the first thing you see is your it populates this particular screen and this is telling you that currently you have this much ICX in your wallet and you can deposit it. So let's go through it. I'll deposit uh, just for the sake of this activity I'm not going to deposit the whole amount I'm going to deposit around actually let's make it a nice round figure excellent confirm as you can see when you confirm it it's telling me that afterwards I will have it will be staked so the second you add collateral it is staking it on your behalf so what this is telling me is notice how I left the 2000 in my wallet that isn't being staked at the moment it's only what you deposit so click deposit as usual, you will have to put in your password. Great. Transfer. Give it a moment. Excellent. There you go. Now, the next thing, as soon as I've deposited the collateral, I can see right away it's telling me I can borrow this amount based on what I've deposited. So let's go ahead and borrow because that's the point. Now, to give you an idea, as soon as you flick this, just like the prototype, everything comes and starts giving you some figures. Um, so if I go here all the way, you can see if I borrow the maximum amount, right away I won't be earning the balance token. So this is where, based on what I've deposited, uh, I will keep it across here. So let's make this a nice round figure again, 750. There we go. So before I hit confirm, I just want to quickly talk through what I'm looking at. So you can see that I have this much worth of collateral deposited. I'm looking to take out a $750 loan out of what I could potentially borrow. But if I were to borrow that amount, I wouldn't earn the balance token. Um, this is telling me over here that if I hit the question mark, you can see it's given me a bit more detail. Liquidation, this is a big one. I'll call this out quickly. Based on my current collateral and the loan I'm taking, if ICX were to dip to 86 cents, everything I've deposited as collateral would get liquidated, as in sold off, because I'd have to pay back my debt. So that is very important and something you need to manage as part of your risk mitigation, etc. So be careful there. And then the various other figures tells you what, what's going on as well, which I've covered in another one, so I won't spend too much time there. So let's hit confirm. I want to take $750 out. And straight away you can see before after I would get $750. This includes the 1% fee. So remember, you do not pay interest on your loan. You can keep your loan open as long as you please. The only fee you have is this 1% initiation fee. So let's click borrow. Okay, great. Now give it a moment. Done. Okay, so now I've got, it's telling me everything here. Just as I saw it, you can see already that it's working out some of my balance rewards based on the loan, because remember, you only get the balance token distributed to you once you take out a loan greater than $50 or add liquidity. So there you have it. I have now deposited ICX. I have gotten BNUSD and you can see over here, this screen here, it actually displays what assets you have in your wallet. Right away, it's showing that I have $750 disposable. So what can I do with this $750? Well, let's take a look. Let's go to the trade. Now, this I've covered this part, but straight away you can see um, I could take my BNUSD and right away, 
the option available to me is to buy some ICX, but it's not ICX, it's staked ICX. So before I do that, let me just click, because one of the other issues is this is on testnet, so there may not be enough liquidity. As you can see, there's barely there's barely uh, any liquidity in the total pool, but this is a great look. So you can see if you go to supply liquidity, each of the pools that are available, you could pick and see how much is being supplied, and then you could supply and it'll give you a bit of an idea. So remember how I didn't deposit that ICX earlier? I intentionally left it. Why? Because I do want to supply liquidity to this. So let, let's go and put uh, 500, 500 here. There we go. Supply. You probably noticed no fees apart from the transaction, which is great. And we'll give it a moment. Excellent. There we go. Right away, I have supplied liquidity. It is telling me what I'm earning. Testnet, don't expect to earn this much on D-Day. But um, right away, here's what I've supplied. Excellent. Now, let, let's, um, let me supply some more liquidity to this pool here. Um, the SICX. And so let's... straight away nope let me cancel that that hasn't worked the way obviously because I haven't put any figures here so um, you can see this is great I've intentionally done this 500 but my wallet I don't have any staked ICX so you're probably wondering if, if you're you've drifted off thinking oh but we put 2500 you're right however that is locked as collateral while it's staked you can't then take that ICX and do other stuff with it that's why I left a little bit of ICX in my wallet. So let's quickly swap that ICX to stake ICX. The exchange allows you to do that. So let's quickly do it. How much have I got? I'll do 500 here. So this will give me staked ICX. Now I'm receiving a little less, yes, because remember it'll never be SICX always grows in value. Every day the pool keeps generating all the staking rewards and while SICX, the amount isn't growing in terms of numbers, it is growing because it's backed by ICX. I've done a terrible job explaining that, but I'll give that a bit more in a moment. Give it a sec. Again, if you would have noticed the one thing I didn't draw your attention to, but you can check back, is when I went to do this swap, one, I don't have to worry about liquidity on this. Why? Because there is, it's basically all you're doing with this swap is taking your ICX and staking it. That's why you didn't get charged a fee. You're probably wondering why you got less SICX, because this is what I mean. SICX is always growing in value. So two years from now, if I were to move this 499 I would get all the staking rewards that came in the two years the 499 um, you know my 500 ICX in the last two years the staking rewards it's earned the SICX figure would stay the same but when I go to swap it back obviously it's grown in value because of the 10% across the two years hopefully that explanation has helped a little bit okay so right away I've swapped now uh, what I'll do is quickly show you something so if I click on home you can right away see, remember the wallet? Over here, I did that swap. Now I have staked ICX. This is different to what I've put in my collateral that I highlighted earlier. SICX, now I can start adding to some pools. So let's take a look. I want to supply liquidity. Because remember, the, the ways you earn the balance token at the moment, the distribution that's happening is via taking out a loan. And two is supplying liquidity to these particular pairs and the three pairs that are listed. Now, uh, I have some BNUSD and some staked ICX. So let's supply 100 here. And yep, great, I'll supply this. Now, you can see each of these, it populates it nice and pretty. It all, all automatically does a split so you don't have to worry about um, what is the value. It, it works that out based on what figures you put in. And all you need to do is send each of these transactions. 
So great. Once that's done, so that'll be three tra transactions. And the final one is what actually supplies it, right? So you'll see as soon as this is done. Great. So what you can see here again under the supply liquidity, I have now supplied 500 ICX into the ICX slash SICX pool. Now remember this pool, when I've deposited, it's strictly I've supplied ICX that is not staked ICX. All it is is ICX, so I would not get any staking rewards on this. Uh, all I would do is get the, the daily rewards that, that balance that gets distributed to this pool. Over here, yes, I do get the balance token and the ICX that I've put in here is staked. However, it is paired against a stable coin. So here is when the impermanent loss stuff comes into account. And again, uh, definitely do your research there and it's something you need to be aware of. Okay, so coming back to the swap. So I have so far taken out a loan, taken the BNUSD. I have added liquidity to the BNUSD and SICX pair. I've showed you how to swap your ICX into SICX if you had just additional uh, ICX. And I have showed you how to add to the ICX slash SICX pool, which is just adding your ICX into it. Now, the last part is if you wanted to swap. So this is something everyone would probably want to do because as soon as you have um, your BNUSD, you may come here and go, you know what, I want to buy more ICX. But what you've probably picked up on is you can't buy ICX on this DEX at the moment unless someone else lists it. The pair that's available to you is staked ICX. So um, let's take... I will just buy 20 intentionally because there's not much liquidity and what what happens by default is if the slippage raises if there's not much liquidity and you put a large order the price will automatically rise because you're trying to purchase more than what's being supplied in the pool and when that happens if it goes above 2.5 percent based on your order it will it will stop the transaction won't happen because you've got a tolerance here you can change that but i haven't done that so you can see here, I would pay, I've taken out my loan, I've got that extra BNUSD, I've come in, I want to buy more ICX, and I've taken $20, I'll receive 9.7 staked ICX, and there's a fee there. What happens to that fee? Now that's the beauty of this platform. Point, it's a 0.30% fee that gets charged per trade. 0.15 goes to the liquidity providers just into that pool and 0.15 goes to all the people that have their balance staked. Well, at the start, it'll go to the DAO, but that's that's where the funds get gathered. So here yeah, I've done the swap. Everything's gone ahead. You probably notice I have a bit more SICX. So what do you do here? A few options. It's staked ICX. You could add more liquidity, do all of that, or head back to this. You noticed I put 2,500 uh, 2, ICX up as collateral, which is now staked. But I've acquired more SICX and I probably, you know what I want to do? I want to lower this liquidation risk that I mentioned earlier in the video, okay? So I want to bring that down from 86 to, well, as low as it can go. So um, in this example, I have uh, bought, you know, say I'd bought a bit more staked ICX, but I didn't because it's testnet. But um, so let's scroll this. I will put this, let's say I bought 200 ICX with the money I had. Uh, yep, great. Let's deposit that. You can see that this is what's in my wallet, what will be left in my wallet. And we'll do the transfer. Now let's see what happens here. There you go. See what happened there? Straight away, my staked ICX got added as collateral because until I do that, it's not collateral. And so from 2,500 went to 2,700 and you can see that I it let me, it says I can borrow more money, but okay. So that that's about it. 
I wanted to keep this brief. I still went on for 15 minutes. However, I was quite quick through it all. Um, and I feel like we've covered off all the basics of using the protocol. As you saw, I wasn't stressed or worried about making the wrong click. If you do do the wrong click, transaction will fail or you can reverse it. So nothing to worry about there. Uh, and um, the last part, obviously, what will happen is once you you add liquidity take out a loan the next day you'll come and you'll see right away that oh you have some tokens that you can claim you claim it and an option to stake it will be available as well so i'll do another video when it's live on testnet but i just wanted to do this because it helps connect all the dots that were missing in the prototype and as always hope you enjoyed this if you like my content give it a like share it and and this is a great way to introduce someone to the balance protocol as well thanks for watching everyone <laughs>